morning. Today, me and my best friend Natalie will be doing the Pe Pequay Creek, Creek Trail, and I'll show you how that starts out in just a minute. So you start out here off of River Road down in Pequay. If you follow all trails, it'll bring you here. And the first time I sign I see up here, it says Fox Hollow Nature Preserve. So that's where we're starting from. And this is part of the Lancaster Le Conservancy. So you can see the trail coming down through here. It's a nice, easy trail. It's not really that overgrown or anything. I guess there's a couple things sticking out in the path, but nothing major. And you can already see the creek through the trees over there. So taking a really small side trail almost right away to go right down to the creek here. So you can see the water. It's a really nice day out. It's in the 70s and we're in the shade, so it seems like it's gonna be a very lovely hike. So this is Peckway, Peckway Creek. There's already someone up there fishing this morning. So far it's not as buggy as I had imagined from some of the YouTube videos that I saw. And this is my best friend Natalie, who's very much into taking pictures. Here. We're just going off the main trail just very, very slightly so I can get some footage up here. These really cool rock formations. Oh, this is pretty. A little. But look at this. There's some a stone wall on each side of that. You can see it from here. Right. Continuing to walk along the side of this creek. This is absolutely beautiful out here. It's really not that buggy. And the temperature is perfect today. I just love walking along side water on a trail and the trail itself is actually well maintained and groomed. So, so far, I'm loving it. Came down another little side path and this is a nice little, almost like a beach here. You can tap in the water, the water's very shallow. You can see the bottom the whole way across and um, there's a little a little bit of turbulence over there that's fast, but I don't think it's anything deep. I love it. This is so cool. I'm so glad I came here today. Gorgeous. Looks like a tiny little about amount of uh, rapids here. Nothing you couldn't go over in a tube. Just keeps going on and on. Another little side trail. All the side trails are real short. They take you right up close to the water at different points. So there's still kind of need to do since the trail's not that strenuous. It's nice to be able to go off on these side trails. Just very pretty, gently flowing water. Beautiful scenery rocks up in there. You hear with their dogs. And the water just keeps flowing. Hi, puppy. <laughs> Looks like he's having fun. All wet.
not even a mile in and there's been so many beautiful spots this is a little teeny side trail that just goes out to this rock right by the river it's a little deeper here but a lot of people swim in here a lot of dogs get to cross the way a creek look at these beautiful rock formations Let's go fishing. So you're allowed to fish here as well. All along this place, there's little side trails that go down to almost like a, a beach-like area. It looks like there's some sand even down there. We found some seashells. There's been little fire rings at a couple of them. So people actually come down here and sit by the fire by the water. Really nice. If you go off on almost any of these side trails, you can walk just right along the water. It's a little more overgrown, but not much. And you eventually come to a place where you can go back up. Which is so awesome here. A little uh, stone bar, I guess, out there. It looks like we're coming up to the infamous Susie's Hole where kayakers have to get out of the water because of the rapids and walk their kayaks around. So I'm going to show you that when we go by it. We're coming up to here but I'm going to go up and go along it so I can see it. I believe it's down there where I can see some rapids starting. And here we are. Up by Susie's Hole, some really kind of rugged rapids, but it's the most famous part of the trail. We can go down that little path and get a better view. Here they are from the upper trail. And here we are at Susie's Hole. Come down a little path. It's kind of steep but very short. And there's all these really cool rocks to stand on. And there's some rapids. This place is just amazing. You continued walking. You can cross a little bit of the water and continue walking on the rocks. It's like a little cave over there on the other side. And then look up here. Just beautiful here. Okay, so we're past Susie's home. We just keep walking. There's some more rapids. Lots of places to get off the trail and go down to the water. And right across the way there, there's a little stone wall. That's some sort. There's just an amazing trail all around. It's a great place to take your kids, your dog, your partner, your family. Really like it. Okay, we're almost to the end and we're coming up to uh, this bridge, I think it's Holman Bridge. It's got a pretty little stream leading up to it. Apparently this bridge is 172 feet long and it was destroyed at one point by Hurricane Agnes, but it's had all the upgrades and repairs. So we're gonna come up here and go along. And it's pretty sitting pretty high up above the water. And there's a trail off to the side. I guess you can go down to the creek here. There's the bridge up there. We're going to get to that in a minute. Well, 
walked along this, the creek and you can see it goes right out to the underside of the bridge and you can walk right across underneath. You don't have to cross, do any boarding. Wow. That is gorgeous. 170 feet, that was close. It's a nice little bridge. They have windows you can look out of. See the river, the, the creek. Keep messing that up. Look how pretty. Oh my goodness. Awesome. So we decided to, since it was so close, I decided to bring my friend over to Kelly's Run via the Pine Tree Trail. So here we are looking at the gorgeous waterfalls. And the awesome rock formations, caves, cliffs, all kinds of beautiful stuff. So I just got home from the trails. Um, we walked a total of 7.05 miles today between two different trails. Um, the original plan was uh, to do the Peckway Creek Trail and then head over to the Tuquan Glen Loop. Um, the parking spaces for Tuquan Glen Loop were blocked and so we went down to the Pinnacle Overlook to access it via the Conestoga Trail. However, um, I had never uh, shown her the Kelly's Run Trail, and there's a shortcut off of Pine Tree Trail from Pinnacle Rock Overlook. So we took Pine Tree Trail and hit up uh, Kelly's Run at the end, um, and that was added on to our trip. So our total was 7.5. Um, I didn't do a lot of video uh, at Kelly's Run because I've already covered that on my channel earlier. Um, and I'll probably cover it again at some point, but probably when I do the whole trail again. Um, but it is absolutely gorgeous down there, and I never pass up an opportunity to go down there. Um, it was a long day, but it was a beautiful day and lots of beautiful scenery. The weather was absolutely perfect. We were in shade the, the entire time, and it really wasn't buggy. I was anticipating it being buggy because I had seen some YouTube videos and they... Uh, uh, host was saying how buggy it was um, in several different videos, several different uh, uh, YouTube channels. So I was prepared, but we didn't need it. It was just beautiful. And um, we got to see the Comanville Bridge and we got to see Susie's Hole. Um, where a lot of kayakers go down through um, Peckway Creek and, um, and tubers and stuff. You have to get out of the water at Susie's Hole there because it is pretty turbulent. But all in all, an absolutely marvelous day, and I hope you enjoyed following along. Namaste.